Hey, what's up guys? So I was lucky enough to get the opportunity to go to South Africa where I spent two weeks volunteering. I spent my time at the Lion Park in Johannesburg as part of the Living with Lions program. This program is really cool because we got real hands-on experience with the animals and we got to do things that you would never get to do in the US. I'm Kimberly, I'm from Australia. Jesse from the Channel Islands. I'm gonna go hug a lion. <laughs> Yeah, he's not in the mood. Nice to meet you too, Mr. Lion. Let me see your claws. Bring the claws out. Yeah, there you go. I'm not sure if I like the way he keeps licking his lips while looking at me. A lot of people make the mistake of thinking that animals are just animals and that they're all exactly the same, but this could not be more wrong. Just like people, these animals have their own distinct personalities. And if you do something they don't like, they'll definitely let you know it. And yes, he did just slap the camera. The lions were really playful. They're also really strong and they have a lot of energy. On the first day, they told us that the lions knew that we were new volunteers and that they try to test us just to see what they could get away with. While you're in the enclosures, you have to know where the animals are at all times and not to turn your back on them because then they'll try to jump on you from behind. Hey, what's up guys? 7.30 in the morning. It gets really cold here at night, surprisingly. I'm walking to the restaurant to see if I can try to get on Facebook. And look, there's an ostrich randomly walking around. So each morning we'd wake up early and the workday would go from 8 to 5. Half of us would go to Cub World to clean out the animal enclosures and the other half would go to the nursery to make food for the babies and some of the other animals. Trying to escape. So in addition to the lions, we'd also make food for the baby hyenas, mixed giraffe milk, we'd make food for the meerkats. Uh, should probably close it. Hey, what's up guys? So it's another morning here at the Lion Park and me and Junior over here. Say hi, Junior. Hi, how are you? But we're coming in to clean out the lion enclosure. How are you guys doing? Did you have a good night? Good morning. Jeez, you guys are all dirty. I know, that's another thing. I wanted to cut them, but they're all dirty now because they spilled the water out. Just gonna stay there and wrestle. All right, carry on. Oh. No, 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 no. Okay, let me let me fix my hair. Okay. You made him sad. Touch you, but you're not like me. Okay. No bite me. No, no bite. No bite. Okay. You understand what I talk? You understand English, right? Don't. Oh, it's hurting. I think it bites me. Yeah. And after that, we carry the babies down to the outside area. Uh, it's okay, little one. I got you. Ugh. All right. Then we'd return to the nursery and the real fun would begin. Well, this is the glamorous life of a volunteer. 
As a volunteer, your job consists of a little bit of everything. Cleaning around the park and the animal enclosures, taking tickets at the Cub World entrance, packing giraffe feed and selling it at the giraffe feed station. And to be honest, some of those things could get kind of boring. But for the most part, whenever we did something at the Lion Park, it was pretty eventful. And whether you're dealing with the babies, the cubs, or the bigger cubs, one thing that's always eventful is feeding time. Now before I show you this next part, I do want to give you a little bit of a disclaimer. If you're uncomfortable with the sight of bloody raw meat, you're probably not going to watch this next part. So click this annotation. It'll allow you to skip just this next part so you don't have to see it. But if not, I don't want to see any comments about how this was too graphic or any of that. So here it is. We're fetching the meat for the lions. It really smells. It smells terrible. <laughs> The horse meat. This is the big one? Yeah, the big one. The big one. Don't bite me. Stop it. <laughs> Alright. Now, now throw it with all your might. Is it zebra? I'm pretty sure it's horse. Now throw it. This is not food. My hands smell like meat. Feeding the cubs wasn't always an easy task, simply because they were so hyperactive, and the second they would hear the sound of those bowls coming, they would just start going crazy. <laughs> They'd run to the gate, they'd jump on the gate, they'd start growling and trying to get through it to get to the food. They would make it so difficult for you just to get in there to give them the food. So we'd have to go in, drop the bowls, and get out as quickly as possible. Because as cute and cuddly as these little guys are, you do not want to be around them while they're eating. <laughs> We also had to put the bowls far apart enough to keep them from fighting each other. And sometimes we'd even have to physically move them, pick them up by the scrub of their neck, just like a cat. Because as soon as one bowl would hit the ground, even though there'd be three more, it's like they were blind and they wouldn't even see the other bowls. We were just feeding the cubs. It was scary because they were all jumping on top of each other and like trying to get it out of our hands and it was scary. Now we have to go get the bowls that they're still licking and they're probably going to attack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh god. It's empty. Giving the lions the bowls was a challenge, but retrieving the bowls, that's where the real challenge was. As soon as you would take the bowls away, they'd immediately get so possessive. They block the gate so you can't get out. They'd just stand there at the gate and they'd start growling and making all kinds of noises. <laughs> Empty. Hey, empty, empty, look at empty, empty. Woohoo! Mission accomplished. <laughs> One great thing about the lion park is that all of their cubs are rescued animals. They don't take animals out of the wild and away from their mothers. These are all cubs who were rejected by their mothers and otherwise would have died in the wild. However, they can only interact with the public until they reach six months old. After they're six months old, they get moved to a different area of the park. And one thing that I particularly enjoyed, even though it was super intimidating, was going to where they kept the bigger lions. <laughs> I made things more exciting for all of us. That's what I did. You're welcome. It belongs to them now. We should just accept it. Mm -hmm. 
So dealing with crazy ravenous lions, that's one thing. But one of the other things you get to do as a volunteer is helping out with some of the school groups when they come to visit. Taking them on tours around the park, taking them on the buses, and telling them about the different animals. Now I know in the US they usually have rules stipulating how many children can be assigned to one adult, but I guess in South Africa it's a little different because we each got put in charge of what seemed like a thousand children. That was interesting to say the least, but it was pretty cool because I felt like I was leading an army. All right, we're gonna go in this way. We're taking some more of the kids to see the lions. We're gonna put them in a big circle. We're gonna bring the cubs around so they can all pet them. All right, everybody get in the big circle. Kids are so excited. It's awesome. Come watch your hands first before you eat. Never thought I'd be working with 130 African school kids. I learned a lot. I admit, I was nervous going into it, but the kids were surprisingly well behaved. And when you see kids that are just so happy and genuinely excited, that's a beautiful thing. So the original plan was to just make one recap video showing you guys everything that we did, but this video is already like 12 minutes long and I'm not even halfway through everything. So next week there's going to be another recap video showing you guys even more of the awesome stuff that we did and more information about the Living with Lions volunteer program. So if you have any questions, leave them in the description. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you next weekend.